And some students at Point Loma Nazarene University are calling for change after a failed attempt to form a gay-themed student group. 10 News reporter Michael Chen reveals the high-profile voices that have joined the battle over religion and sexuality. We are on campus, and this is a copy of that application to start a student group. The rejection of that application has sparked national attention. Sean Lewis, a senior at Point Loma Nazarene, is openly gay. He says he and others I've received like messages on Facebook often feel unwelcome on campus, warning me that I'm going to go to hell. The school is associated with the Nazarene Church, an evangelical Christian denomination, to lessen the angst among gay students. We just hope to create a, a safe space on campus. Lewis recently spearheaded a campaign to begin a gay-themed discussion group. Here is a portion of the mission statement. Can share their neglected stories, learning questions. Lewis applied for a charter for his group, but was recently called into a meeting and told by Kay Smith, vice president of student development, there will be no group. It would be problematic for us to charter any organization that uh, would be contrary to the positions of the Church of the Nazarene. Smith believes the group would be an advocacy group, which can't be sanctioned by the school. Lewis says the group would only advocate conversation and discussion. We're not asking you to violate your belief system. We're just asking you to treat these, hum like these students, these people, like people. Backers of a group have started a petition drive that's drawn the support of national gay rights groups. Among those endorsing the petition, the Episcopal Church's first gay bishop. Student organizers argue that this rejection will lead to a culture of fear and isolation. How do you respond to that? I would absolutely reject that. Smith says forums have been put on to discuss the topic of sexuality, and a student code says all should be treated with dignity. A dignity some say can't truly be achieved without recognition for a group. Michael Chen, 10 News.